Hello students. In today's class, we'll have overview of various secondary storage devices. In our previous classes, we already came to know that secondary memory or secondary memories are normally used for storing the things for longer time for permanent. And they have very large storage capacity, but they are slow as compared to what slower than the primary memories or the RAM basically. Okay. So we have a lot of things written here. All of these things say the same thing, which we already know, but let us once again, see this, uh, watching it, the one thing again and again, in the same way, let you, let you know it in a better way. Okay. Make you perfect in that topic. So, one of the primary feature of today's computer storage is huge amount of data. One feature is huge amount of data. In secondary storage devices, you can store huge amount of data. And uh, again, secondary memory is non-volatile, which has capacity to hold data only turns it has been deleted or overwritten. I mean, secondary memory is non-volatile. That means once anything is recorded in it, it remains there unlit until, unless you are deleting it or you are overwriting it. This is also known as auxiliary storage or external memory, flash memory, secondary memory. So these all terms are similar. So you do, should not get confused if somebody is telling you auxiliary memory. That simply means uh, storage, uh, secondary storage. Fine. So why it is important? You all know this. Now here comes the main thing. Hard drive. We have different types of secondary storage. The first one is hard drive. Although secondary memories are subdivided according to the technology used. But here we will see them as per their priority. So hard drive. What is hard drive? Hard drive is such a secondary device that is used to permanently store and retrieve the data on a computer. Means hard disk is one of the best and the widely used and the most widely used storage device. And the best thing about hard disk is it is the most reliable uh, storage device. Reliable means on which we can rely. Bharoseman. Okay. So among all the technologies that we have available nowadays, today, among them hard disk is the best one in terms of reliability, in terms of storage capacity, in terms of price, in terms of uh, speed, in every respect, hard disk stands better than other devices. So, and this is the reason because of which hard disk is widely used and is there in all the computers normally. Let me show you that image of hard disk drive look at this these all are hard disks okay you may have seen these disks physically also other than in photos so it normally comes in two sizes one is bigger size and one is a smaller size a smaller hard disk i think in the photo all seems the same but uh, it's quite simple to Look, laptop hard disk is a little smaller. Okay, look at this. This is a uh, bigger hard disk, while this is laptop hard disk. Okay, this is one TB internal surveillance hard disk. Means surveillance hard disk means the hard disk which is used for storing the CCTV footage. Okay, normally these are bigger. These are also, this can be also put in the desktops, while this is a small size, so it's used in laptops. What about it? Hard disk drive is also known as HDD or simply hard disk HD. Now, this is telling you more about it. Although we have to discuss more about every uh, secondary storage device in detail in subsequent classes, but still let us know a few, few things about them. Its architecture involves one or one or more platers. Platers means a plate kind of thing, okay, made up of light metal, 
on which data is usually written by aid of magnetic head there is a head read write head which you which is which does the task of reading or writing the data in the disk now you might be wondering reading means and writing means we write with a pencil on a paper but how uh, in a plate how a head can write so that's the internal matter that we have to discuss but not in this class you will understand all these things but just right now you are just entering at the field of technology so you'll have you'll see something very different things which you have never seen so this is how you'll have to grasp everything yes yeah, this can be also done i mean there is a head which rides over the plates and those plates are binded over the motor motor rotates it spins and the head goes back and forth and it rides okay uh look internet can tell you everything video of working hard disk you can watch videos also okay look lot of videos are there uh you can choose any the any smaller one and you can watch them working look the, the the outer cover is open and see this is the head and the motor is spinning at very fast speeds the speed is up to 5400 rpm rotation per minute or maybe 7200 rpm okay look how speed this head some moving and this all this is reading or writing okay so this is what i was telling you that hard disk has plates and a read write head which move uh, back and forth copy and paste operation is working okay look at this very nice video that that will make your concept a little more clear so that's enough so now you have already seen that how the hard disk was working this is how hard disk works it has a motor over which the, the plates are uh, binded and the motor spins at very high speed and the head is there which you saw just now which moves back and forth and it writes the data in it how it write the data how it digitally record the thing of course in all the uh, storage devices things are digitally stored digitally recorded in form of zero and one now th that's a different matter that which device represent zero and one in what way is a different thing solid state device about which we were discussing in the last class also so let us see in this class as well solid state drives use non volatile memory as a means of holding data access therefore it does not use disk drives mechanism and it's typically abbreviated as sdd solid state drives this does not have any moving part and this make them different from hard drives solid state drive looks similar to hard drive when it is packed both look same but when you'll uncover it you'll find a different architecture in both of them in the normal hdd you have seen that what kind of things there but in the solid state device ic's are there i integrated circuit the technology which is used for making pen drives the same technology the same, that is called semiconductor technology the semiconductor technology is used for making solid state drives this does not have any movable part and it is quite very fast than normal hard disks and they are little costlier than normal hard disk okay nowadays the solid state drive is replacing this but it will take time it's it's not that uh, cheap also it's a little costly okay a typical sata connection have maximum transfer rate of 750 mbps meg megabit per second 750 megabits per second it can transfer new generation ssd now connects to motherboard pc port and offer transfer speed of this much speed 1.5 gb per second in one second 1.5 gigabits can be transmitted this is very very high speed for a second storage device so it's telling that now their prices are also getting improved so these are replacing the normal hard disk 
and uh, as i've told you earlier also in my computer also i have used uh, ssd for better performance this is un a universal serial bus actually usb simply means uh, usb port where we connect the usb devices but this is about the pen drive the flash drives okay it is portable secondary storage device and is of a size of human thumb that's why it is also called thumb drive thumb, yeah, thumb. pen drives look like in the similar size of this this is connected through a usb port it is also known as the data stick look the pen drives are given so many names you also can come to know that with these many names in different countries they are called with different names so you must know uh, all the names so that you do not get confused data stick pen drive keychain drive <coughs> thumb drive usb flash drive these all are the same names they are the easiest way to transfer data from one computer to another you all know the use of pen drive you can copy a data from one computer and you can take it take, take to the data into another computer now. so this also do not have any moving part they have an integrated circuit ic the same technology i mean first pen drive came and then ssd came okay so both use the same technology which is known as a semiconductor technology now what exactly semiconductor is that will make it clear when we will discuss these topics individually separately in a few videos now we have optical secondary storage optical is related with light now why optical so these secondary devices use laser beams for reading or writing the data <clears throat> now it's quite not easy to understand in the first class that how that laser beam reads and write so that's why i told you that this is an overview class where we will see all kind of secondary storage devices and in our subsequent class i will see the detail so cds full form is compact disc dvds or blu-ray disc nowadays are one of the most common and popular optical storage medium these discs have the ability to execute or retrieve data data for later use means uh, something which is you do not use daily and all you can record it and keep it somewhere when you future when you need it we can just retrieve it and in cds and dvd you might uh, know this device very well you might have seen your home videos or when any program or function is there at your home cameraman comes and record the things and it, it gives back to you in a cd or a dvd yes you are familiar with this this make up your mind that a cd and dvd only contain videos audios this is not a fact cd and dvd do not generally contains only videos and photos they may contain any kind of data means whatever you can store in a pen drive whatever you can store in a hard drive those all things can be stored in a cd or dvd as well just same way the files are also there i mean if you are making a file of ms word that also you can save in uh, cd or dvd excel file paint brush file or you are making any typing anything in word or any any kind of thing including video audio of course so all these things can be stored in optical drives also but these drives need to be kept very uh, safely and uh, securely if the disk gets a scratch mark then it become unreadable you may lose the data so you have to while using cd dvd or blu ray disc any such optical device you need to take a good care of them i mean you should not make a scratch mark anywhere in them otherwise the disc will become unreadable so this care has to be taken whenever you are using so a standard cd is capable of storing 650 mb but 700 mb is the standard size of cds or you may store this much minute of music that depends on the format of video or music that you are uh, recording in it that doesn't uh, if it is telling that only 72 minute of music that this is not the fact you can store a very lot of songs i mean look one mp3 song takes 5 mb of space so you can easily calculate how many mbs can be stored in 700 700 mb is the capacity of a cd if one mp3 song takes 5 mb then how many songs we can store in a cd look 140 songs can be stored in a 
CD. Okay, hmm. around that much. And uh, video, of course, you can store. That is not normally stored in duration. You can, if you are, if you are a good, if you have good knowledge about these devices and the various formats of the videos and all, you may compress the video. You may change the video in different format, and the duration can be increased. DVD has the capability of uh, more capacity. Uh, DVD has capacity of 4.7 GB. Okay. And it goes till 17.08, I mean 18 GB, maybe a size of DVD. But the standard size of, size of a DVD is 4.7 GB. Now, 4.7 GB means how many MBs? 4.7 into 1024. Uh -oh. uh, let me first change this to a standard calculator 4.7 <coughs> into 124 so these many mbs are there in a dvd now let us calculate number of songs that can be stored divided by 5 972 songs can be stored a very very high quality photo also comes in 2 mb size or 3 mb size so you can easily calculate how many photos you can store how many songs you can store how much video you can store so that depends on the size that the, whenever any video is made you can see easily the, how, how much uh, bytes or megabyte or kilobyte or gigabyte it's taking and accordingly you can decide that how, how much space is needed so 4.7 gb is the capacity of uh, dvd but here i can see that uh, there is no discussion of blu-ray disc so let us find out capacity of Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray disc is another optical device. Look, it's of 25 GB. One movie takes around 1 GB of space, a good quality movie. So you can easily see that in a Blu-ray disc, we may store 25 good quality movies. And uh, capacity of Blu-ray disc, a single layer disc can hold 25 GB. A double layer Blu-ray disc can hold 50 GB. Now what is single layer? What is double layer? We'll see them in more detail. So here you are knowing or encountering first time that these things are available around us where we can keep our things safely. Well, so let us now see floppy disk. Floppy disk, look, let us read it about it. It was first created in 1967. As an alternative to hard drive, floppy can store electronic data. Uh, the same thing, uh, whatever you can store, the data up to 1.4 MB. Look, the capacity of floppy was, I'm not saying the capacity of floppy is, capacity of floppy was 1.44 MB. Why so? Because nowadays floppies are not used. Who will use the 1.4 MB space when nowadays we have a thumb drive, a pen drive? of 256 GB. Yes, nowadays pen drives are coming of this capacity. 264 GB pen drive is normal, you know, you, know, you, you may have it. 128 GB is also not. 256 GB of pen drives are coming. Then why anybody will use this floppy of 1.4 MB? Not even a single photo can be stored properly in that. So it is an old technology where the files were small. There was no multimedia devices. So not, those days these were okay, but now they are not used. <laughs> Tape drives. Now, about tape drives, I would like to add that these days, a lot of work and research is going over these devices and their capacity is increasing day by day. Although they are not normally used in all computers and all, but in few specific systems, these are used for holding a huge amount of data. Let us read more about them. It is basically a magnetic, of course, magnetic technology to use, coated a thin piece of plastic that are wrapped around a wheel of a store. You might have seen a video cassette which is used in video cameras or audio cassette you might have seen. These all are example of magnetic tapes. So though these magnetic tapes drive for much slower storage, huh? this is one of the drawback of these, this device that these are comparatively the most slowest secondary storage device. Still they are much cheaper. These are cheaper. 
the number of bytes of the as compared to the capacity if you compare with other devices you'll find that it is much cheaper than most of the storage mediums the first tape drive had a storage capacity of this much kb only the first tape drive when it was first initially made but recently ibm has released a sixth generation tape drives when this article was written the sixth generation tape drive was released by ibm international business machines corporation having a storage capacity of 15 terabytes we normally have 500 gb 1 tb 2 tb hard disk normally we have in our laptops but a tape drive can store 15 terabyte of data it's too large very very huge capacity this is our call huge huge capacity furthermore zip disk is an advanced version of floppy disk yes as i said you that uh, floppies are no more used but in in place of floppies zip disk came but zip disks are also not used that way because we have lot of various handy storage devices especially the pen drives earlier floppies were used just like a pen drive that we used to do you know, to transfer files and all floppies on the earlier days they were used for the same purpose but if you have a better device a far 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 better device than a floppy disk and why do you use such devices so dear students in this class we saw that uh, these many different secondary storage devices are available with us so we have some time so let us see image of tape drive or better to write magnetic tape look various examples of magnetic tapes latest tape drive image you see these are the tape drives i mean drives means the device in which tape can be inserted and it reads the tape that is called tape drive latest tape or latest magnetic tape technology look these all are examples of tapes so of course if you want to know more then you'll have to go in detail but still they are fine let me show you uh, image of floppy disk various varieties of floppies were used one was 5 5.25 inches of floppy drive one was 3.5 inches of floppy drives so this look at this this is 5.25 inch floppy drive the biggest biggest floppy drive it had capacity of 1.2 mb just 1.2 mb whereas 3.5 m uh, inches floppy drive which is smaller than the 5.25 has the capacity of 1.4 mb 1.44 mb of storage so these are the i mean diagram of floppy drive which are not used anymore nowadays you may also see zip disk similar almost similar to a floppy disk or you may find the capacity of a zip disk capacity of 100 mb then then 750 so not even 1 gb okay so this is what is about uh, second storage device so we'll see more about them in our subsequent classes so thank you students see you in the next class